Joining us now is the founder of Turning Point USA and author of the new book, Right Wing Revolution, How to Beat the Woke and Save the West, Charlie Kirk. So honored to have you. Welcome back to Victory. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. All right. Protesters sued to be able to protest inside the security perimeter. Milwaukee police will set up, but they did not get their way. So do, who do you think will outdraw the other on the protest at the conventions, Republicans or Democrats? Oh, I, I think we're going to outdraw them. I'm glad they're not within the perimeter. Nothing that I can't handle uh, doing the college campus visits that I've been doing. But uh, yeah, I've, now this is my fourth convention. Uh, 2020 didn't really count. But uh, yeah, 2012, 2016, and 2020, I can tell you, they, they will send a lot of paid protesters out there. Um, but it's going to be a fun week. Excited to see you guys there. It's going to be the center of all political momentum and energy and gravity next week. Excited, right. excited for what it has to offer. Yeah, we're looking forward to it, Charlie. While Joe Biden's drowning in criticism, veteran journalist Chris Matthews is swimming upstream on Morning Joe. Here it is. And I'm telling you, people are going to end up rooting for him in October because he will have a comeback. And in this elite fashioned uh, attack on him, they're going to pay for it. But in the end, they're going to end up voting for him. So while Chris Matthews is predicting a stunning turnaround, The New York Times is reporting that major donors in a Biden pack are freezing roughly $90 million as long as Biden stays in the race. Now, he didn't say he had a thrill run of his leg. So comeback or donors dethroning him, what's it going to be? Well, you know, I, I think Chris Matthews is actually pretty smart. I did an entire show on this today uh, on my podcast. I, I think Chris Matthews is onto something where the media is going to resurrect Joe Biden at some point if he remains in the race as being the comeback kid. Uh, comeback kid. Now, mind you, he has to fight Father Time, so that's going to be kind of hard. Uh, and Father Time is undefeated except against Jesus Christ. Um, so eventually everybody has to uh, go up against that, uh, that big fight. So, look, I will say Chris Matthews is onto something in the regards— in regard to this, which is that the media will show no choice, will have no choice but to consolidate behind Joe Biden. And Joe Biden is, if he doesn't have the donor support, he could potentially run a Bernie Sanders style populist nationalist uh, from the left type of campaign. He's already at war with the media. He's at war with a lot of elites in his own party. Um, so my prediction is that Joe Biden is going to try to run as a counterfeit Democrat Trump light sometime soon. Uh, and yes, the media is going to come out and they are going to why they are going to support Joe Biden big time. And all this civil war will be soon forgotten. It'll, it'll be very interesting to see if Hollywood follows it. Now, you have a new book, Right Wing Revolution, How to Beat the Woke and Save the West. Why is it so important for us to read that right now? Well, it's an instruction manual. It gives every single uh, person who reads the book specific marching orders of what you can do to save this country, of what you can do to be able to make a difference in your community. Uh, and also, it diagnoses the problem. You know, we're heading into the last moments of this campaign, the last couple months. It feels like it's been forever. So people can check it out right now at 45books.com. And I encourage people to do that. Representative Anna Paulina Luna's resolution to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in, quote, inherit contempt did not succeed yesterday. You had Representative Luna on your show. What she tell you was about the setback of that? Well, she said some people uh, had, I guess, scheduling uh, issues or they left town early. She's, she is very optimistic that they're going to get another hearing on this. This will be brought back for a vote um, and hopefully be ultimately successful. Now, you featured a, a, a story this week on our northern border and the sea's record high illegal crossing there. Tell us what you found out on the northern border. Uh, what I found out on the northern border? Yeah, I mean, look, the northern border is also a major security threat to the country. Um, we are seeing uh, people that are coming into the country um, from Canada, from the, from the Windsor crossing. Um, we are seeing it coming from both countries, Canada and Mexico. Um, and Joe Biden has allowed the deterioration of American sovereignty at every turn. Yeah, we don't have any borders anymore whatsoever. Be sure to visit 45books.com. Get your copy of Right Wing Revolution. That's 45books.com. Charlie Kirk, great to have you back on Victory News. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Uh, Tim, I want to bring Tim in with me here because, Tim, uh, the convention starts next week, yeah. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We need to pray for Milwaukee mm. um, and, and pray for this convention for safety, for the police, yeah. and for the protesters. And I'll get you to lead us if you would. Father, we do pray for for this convention coming up next week. We pray for the protection of everyone that's in attendance there. Every delegate, every media member, every person that's there, Father, we pray for their protection, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that God's word will come forth in that meeting and the right decisions will be made in Jesus' name, amen.